Okay, we're gonna take apart this broken LCD monitor to see what's inside and we could use it for anything. Gonna take off the base here. The front cover, back cover, and here's some shielding we'll have to remove. Okay, this is the brains of the monitor. And here's the power supply. More about that later. Take apart some more shielding. Separate the backlight from the LCD plate. Now the LCD plate consists of two parts. It has a polarizing filter on top and then the individual LCD units underneath. Kind of gives it a grayish screen type look. Using the LCD plate as a mirror you can get some neat photographic effects. We're going to put it back together connecting the controller board to the power supply and then to the backlight. Then plug it in. At this point, I'm going to have to warn you, the power supply circuit can be dangerous. Before you turn this on, be careful. Of course, you have 110 volts coming in. But worse yet, on the side that goes to the backlight, there could be 500 to 600 volts. Also, coming out of this board, you have uh, 12 volts and 5 volts, which you can use for whatever we'd use 5 or 12 volts for. Let's turn it on and we get light. You could use this light in photography as a backlight or maybe a silhouette maker. Here's where it gets interesting. If you take the LCD plate and place it back on top of the backlight, and here we're going to take a picture of some cellophane on top of that, you get kind of what you expect. Now take a polarizing filter that fits your camera, and now take a picture. You get kind of these neat colors and by adjusting the filter on the camera you can get varying degrees of backlight here's a CD cover sandwich bag some cellophane ashtray a plastic cookie container spam box here's the CD case and cellophane on top of it and various other plastic items will work Let's get back to the power supply for a second. If you want to experiment with a high voltage, you might be able to make a bug zapper with this, or maybe a, an electric fence, but be careful. One more word of caution. Um, if you happen to have the high voltage end unplugged, and you turn this circuit on, this big capacitor will charge up, and even after you unplug it, the circuit may be capable of producing high voltages. So you may want to discharge this capacitor by shorting the pins across it with a screwdriver or something. Well, that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Till next time.